Welcome to the next lecture of our course Selenium with CSharp.net and in this lecture we're going to be talking about working with locators and this video is going to be of two or three lectures because this is one of the most important topic that we need to understand while working with Selenium itself because most of the time we'll be interacting with user interface element and locators are the key critical component that we need to understand with. So let's get started. To effectively perform an automated user interface testing on a web page, the process typically involves two fundamental steps. One is locating an user interface element and execute an action on that element. So what do you mean by locating an user interface element? So this is the step which entails identifying the specific user interface element you intend to interact with in the UI of the application, right? So if you're going to perform a search on the Google homepage, then you got to be doing like identifying that particular text box, which is going to get the input text from you. And then you're going to be performing the search on the Google. That's what we did in the third lecture of this course, right? So that's exactly is the location of the user element, like locating the user element. And next we need to perform an action on that particular element. So that is the execute an action. So once we found out our desired UI element, successfully the next step is to perform the required operation on it so that is the next operation so these are the two most important operation that we need to perform while performing an action on the user interface of an application so in order to effectively perform these operation selenium has got quite a lot of method and all these methods to perform these operation are going to look something like this so these are the methods as you can see over here are the one which is available in selenium to locate the element in the user interface, like by ID, name, tag name, class name, CSS selector, link text, partial link text, and XPath. So these are the different locator types available. And you can see that all these locator types are actually from the by class that we just saw in our last lecture while we were exploring the Selenium itself. That's exactly what it is. And we saw there were different types of methods and properties available. These are the one that, yeah, these are the one they are over here. So you can see that the ID is the element ID that is mostly considered as the reliable and efficient way to locate an element because it is going to be provided a unique ID in most of the modern UI application. So most of the time you'll be ending up using the ID or the name, uh, tag name, I think it's going to be useful while you use a table or something like that. Not most of the time. Class name is also very, very useful. It's a CSS class name that we use to locate the element. And there is also a CSS selector, which also uses the CSS selectors available in the web page to locate the element. And it is very, very common for the complex and the nested elements. We can also use the link text if it has a A tag or the anchor tag to perform an operation of clicking the link. So you can use the link text and there is also a partial link text. And finally, there is an XPath. So XPath is considered to be very, very useful if your application has got no locator and you're gonna be locating it using a only fuzzy logic way, then XPath is the better way to go with. So these are the different locator types available. So now we have found out the first way to identify the elements using different properties and method available in Selenium. The next operation is to execute an action on those UI element. And the way that we can do it is using these methods available. So we can see that Selenium has provided a rich interactions or action methods to perform the operation on the user interface. So these are the only methods available which you can use or which you will be using most of the time to perform an action on the user interface. For example, we'll be performing a click operation. So this is going to simulate the mouse click on the element. We are then going to perform a send keys operation, which is going to be performing a typing operation. We already saw the click method and send keys method in our code before, as you can see over here. We tried to perform a send keys over here. We also performed a click operation. At least we didn't see the click operation, but we wrote the click operation in our last video. And there is a clear method, submit method. So submit is mainly used if it has an form in the page of the user interface, then it is going to be the submit method that you will be using. And then there is a get attribute method, which are the attributes that you can use within the user interface, like the A tag that I was just talking about. And similarly, CSS value is displayed, is enabled, is selected, text, find element, and find elements. So basically, find element is going to identify only first element within the current 
element using the given locator mechanism. So as you can see, the find element method is not plural, it's a singular. And there is another method called as find elements, which is plural. So basically it's gonna return all the element with the current element using the given locator mechanism. And what does it mean by locator mechanism? So it is going to use the different locator mechanism that we have got something like this, like different locator type, like it is the bye 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 thingy. So all these are gonna be accepted over here in the find element with the by being passed over here. And this is something we already saw within our code as well, while we are trying to identify the element using the find element method. And we use the by dot name with Q on the search text box. So these are the different kind of interactions or the action method available in Selenium for you to perform on the user interface. So now you have got the idea of how that we can use all these locator strategy to identify the element and also perform the action on that user interface. So these are the most important stepping stones to be learned before we start writing the program itself. So I'm gonna set this as a guideline or the guide for you to be used for the rest of the videos that we'll be talking in our upcoming videos of this series because this is the most important place or this lecture is the most important place that you need to know before we even start using within our Selenium code. Catch you in the next one.